All right, well, good afternoon, my crafty friends. How are you today? And again, I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's hump day. Hump day is always a good day. You know, half the week is behind us and we've only got a couple more days till the weekend. Okay, so again, it's uh, my name is Judy Medlove. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Markham, Ontario, Canada. And I'm just going to wait a couple minutes and uh, see who pops on. So, and see if I can find you on my iPad or find myself on my iPad. Hi, Jean. Glad you could join me today. All right. Let's see if I can get this to come up so I can see your comments. Not that I continually look for them because quite often I miss them. So let me see. I don't know why. I don't know why it's so, it takes so long for it to show up on the iPad. I really don't, but anyways. Um, all right, just give me a minute. Hang in there, people. Uh, come on, come on. Okay. There I are. All right, Rose says hi. Hi, Rose. Yes, it is a beautiful day, isn't it? The sun is shining. Uh, it is a little chilly out there, but uh, again, the sun is shining, so that's a good thing. And I look like I'm frozen on my iPad, so mm, hopefully we're not going to have issues. I I tried a Facebook Live yesterday and, and one a couple of days prior to that, and both times it just froze. So anyways, hopefully that won't happen today. Okay, so I have some stuff I want to talk about. Um, as you know, um, the, the, um, mm -hmm, the mini catalog is, uh, live and going well and, uh, celebration is in full swing. And just in case you're not sure what celebration is, uh, that is this little mini catalog here. Okay. I know it's backwards, but anyways, with any $60 order that you place before taxes and shipping, uh, you can choose one of the items in this catalog and there are also some items that are only available with a $120 order. Anyways, I love free stuff so I just want to mention that that if you love free stuff place uh, a $60 order and get some free stuff. Okay, let me just see if there's any other comments. No, okay. What else do I have? Uh, okay, five more days left in my Judy's Paper Crafting community to post any birthday card. As long as it's Stampin' Up! product, it doesn't have to be current. It can be retired. Maximum five cards, and at the end of the month, we'll do a little draw, okay, for a little prize, uh, some sort of embellishment. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, oh, yeah, so signing bonus. Um, oh, hi, Shirley. Glad you could join me. Uh yeah, just a reminder that now is a perfect time to join Stampin' Up! If you've been thinking about it, now is a great time. Uh, normally, the um, if you'd like to join, it's $135, and you get to pick $165 of product of your choice. Not this is what you're getting, but whatever you would like to pick. Um, but also, but with the uh, promotion until the end of February, again, as part of the celebration promotion, uh, for $135, you get to pick the $165 plus two additional stamp sets. So you're looking at roughly uh, a $325 value that you can get for $135. So if you have a lot of things on your wish list, uh, yeah, why not? Why not join? And then you can get a also get a discount on future supplies. Okay, so if anybody's interested in that, let me know and we can talk about it further. Okay, all right, that's that. Um, yeah, since the end of the month is coming up and I won't see you before next Wednesday, I'm just going to tell you what the new challenge will be as of February 1st. And that's going to be any type of card, but it has to be all current product and the main focus must be from the new mini catalog. Okay, which is this one. Okay, so again, it can be, um, I'd like everything to be current. Um, the main focus, again, your stamp set or whatever is going to have to be from the mini catalog. If you have embellishments that are not from the mini catalog 
or some paper that is not from the mini catalog, that's okay as long as it's still current. It's a, it has to be either in the annual catalog or in the mini catalog, but the main focus must be from the mini catalog. If you have any questions about that, let me know. All right, that is that. Oh yes, and you can post up to five cards and this challenge will also run for a month. So it'll run till February 28th and then we'll have a little draw and um, yeah, for some, I don't know, some embellishments or something. Okay, what else do we have? Um, okay, starting next week, uh, we're into a new month. So starting next week, I'm gonna change up my Judy's Paper Crafts a little bit. Yes, Jean, you better get your orders in. Yes, because you're gonna wanna post your five cards in there. Uh, I'm gonna change up my Facebook Live a little bit. Um, I'm going to concentrate on one stamp set per month, okay? So I'm only gonna I'm only gonna make one card per week. Okay, now I may show one or two or three cards, but I'm only going to actually make one. Uh, unless it's something really oops, yeah, unless and less and less. <laughs> unless it's something really simple and I can, you know, whip it up in no time but I'm starting to get kind of confused and I'm getting stressed out with Wednesdays by trying to do so many cards and so many things, which is why I've been going to the simple stamping because that's not quite as stressful. And so anyways, uh, I'm gonna call this Crafternoon Tea and a Card. So I figure three o'clock is a nice time for a break, a nice cup of tea, or you can have coffee or a glass of wine if you prefer, whatever you'd like. Anyways, I am gonna call it Crafternoon Tea and a Card, and that's gonna be the focus starting next week, okay? So that's that. Um, I'm also going to start to post in Judy's Paper Crafting Community. Uh, I'm gonna do some Tuesday, I'm gonna call it Tuesdays, tips and tidbits. Not really sure what I'm gonna post in there yet. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do it every week. Um, for example, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, what am I thinking of? Let me see. Maybe I will demonstrate once again how to put the stamps on the blocks, okay? Uh, how to clean your blocks, how to put the stickers on the stamps, how to care for them, what types of cleaning things there are for your stamps. Uh, those types of things, okay? Um, it do, might not be me doing it. I might find um, a YouTube video out there that someone else has already done, and I may just post that, okay? And if any of you have any suggestions, anything that you guys would like to know, um, how something works, how to do something, I don't know how the stamp set goes together, I don't know what to do with these dies, I don't understand this, you know, what, what are these, how do these work? Okay, if you have anything like that, uh, please let me know and I will try and see if I can answer your question. All right, okay. Uh, yeah, that, anyway, that's kind of like what Judy's Paper Crafting Community is all about. The reason I started the Judy's Paper Crafting Community is because you cannot post um, pictures and stuff, photos and stuff in my on my business page. So I needed a group. So that's why I started the group, so that we can post stuff in there. So you guys aren't doing that. So I'm just saying, if you want to do that, uh, you know, po post, post pictures of your cards in there. You don't have to do the challenge. You can just post pictures of your cards. If you're not sure about something, you know, okay, well, I don't know, I should, should I add this embellishment? Does this look better like this? Does this look better like that? Post those types of things in there. That's what we're here for. We're all here to share and learn from each other. Okay, so yeah, so kind of um, keep that in mind. Don't be afraid to post. None of us are experts at this stuff, including myself. I mean, let's face it. So, I mean, I rip up and throw out more cards than I make, I think. <laughs> so, okay, I think that's all I have. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. All right, I'm going to turn the camera down now. And I have a couple more things when I turn the camera down. Jean says, great ideas to do tips. New info for some and refresher for others. Yes, that's kind of what I was thinking. So, all right. Anyway, so if, again, if you have any ideas, anything you want to see, anything you're not sure of, uh, even if it comes down to how to open up a an ink pad, okay? Uh, I mean, I... <laughs>
I know, for quite a while I had an issue opening up the ink pads. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get the freaking things open. Oh, hi, Mary. Thanks for joining. Uh, anyways, I don't know what I did. One day I watched a video or something and I saw them open it and I thought, Okay, and I did that, and now I have no problem. Why I couldn't, why it took me over a year to figure out how to open them is beyond me, but it did. So, anyways, all right, let's get started. Let me turn the camera down. Okay, and I have to move this. What do we have here? Okay. All right. Okay, so again, my name is Judy Menlove, and you can reach me here on Judy's Paper Crafts or Judy's Paper Crafts.stampinup.net. If you'd like to place an order before the end of the month, uh, please use host code AYR3JPX4. Okay, all right, let me put some lights on. Actually, I think that's probably enough. Okay, uh, let me get this first okay so stampin up ha is releasing a new bundle per se i guess you could call it this is called all together and they're also so there is stamp set paper dies and two four six eight ten new stampin blends okay I seem to be losing part of my photo here, part of my picture. Um, so again, that is available February the 1st. All right. I just, so basically, it's uh, it's just we're all in this together. Okay. So that's what it's all about. So here is the, can you see this? Okay. So here is the stamp set and the dies. Uh, the paper is all uh, black and white. Okay. And then there are uh, five sets of the Stampin' Blends. So you have a light, a medium light, a medium, medium deep, and a deep. And again, they're basically for skin tone color. Uh, I believe that's why they introduced them. But you don't have to use them for skin tone color. You can use them for, you know, whatever you'd like. Um, but the whole point of this is, you know, we're here together, here for you, you matter. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out that that it will be available February 1 until I guess the annual catalog is over, which is May 2nd. No. Yes. Not sure now. I believe it's over May 2nd. Anyways, this will be available until May 2nd. So as of mm, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm not sure when the first is, either Monday or Tuesday. I think it's probably Tuesday. Um, you'll be able to see this on the Stampin' Up! website. Okay. Okay, next month, like I said, I'm going to concentrate on one stamp set. So next month, I'm going to be doing the Rainbow of Happiness and stamp set and the Brilliant Rainbow Dies. So I just wanted to show you that that is in the mini catalog. <coughs> Excuse me on page 18. So this is the stamp set and these are the dies here. Okay. And the bundle, the dies and the stamp set are $60.25. So if you were to order that as the bundle for $60.25, you would qualify for a free celebration item. And this is going to be the free celebration item that I'm also going to use next month. So this is the Sunshine and Rainbows uh, Designer Series paper. All right, so I'm going to be playing with that along with the um, Rainbow of Happiness bundle. Okay, these are cute, cute, cute um, papers. And again, who doesn't love free, right? Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. That's what we're going to do. And that's that, we talked about celebration. And I think that's it for now. Okay, so today we're gonna to be doing some simple stamping and we're going to be playing with the Flowing Flowers stamp set. And this is in the mini catalog. Let me just see if I can find this. 
Don't, okay, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in the mini catalog, they changed it. And at the back where they have the products, they are all alphabetical now. I could never find anything before, but now that they're all alphabetical, it's really easy. So the stamp set is on page 36. So flowing flowers, okay? So there are no dyes, uh, no punch, no nothing, just the stamp set. Now you can use things, other things that will go with it, but uh, it's just really the stamp set. So I really like this stamp set. Um, it is the, um, <laughs> oh my, just a minute. Oh, and, and, and stink, and, and, oh my, just a minute, I need the word. I want to say it's instinctive, but I don't think that's the word. Distinctive? Distinctive, distinctive, okay. Which means it has light and dark in the stamp. So I think you can probably see that. All right, that it's a little bit, it's not all the same color. You're gonna get different shades when you stamp. All right, and I love the sentiments. Just a note, happy birthday. I like you. Thank you. Time for a happy dance and sending a card instead of a text. Okay, so that's what we're gonna to use today. We're also gonna use these basic white note cards and envelopes, okay? And if you don't know where they are, they are in the annual catalog on page 136. Note cards and envelopes. You get 20 cards and 20 envelopes for $9.50. So a great deal. The cards are five inches by three and a half inches. Okay. So I saw this idea on Pinterest. It's not it's not totally my own idea. I saw it on Pinterest. Um, it was Mary, I, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. It's K-N-A-B-E. So I'm going to assume that the K is silent <laughs> and say it was Mary Nabe, but I'm not sure. Anyways, her last name is K-N-A-B-E. Anyways, I saw these simple cards that she had posted and I thought they were absolutely, I don't know, simple and creative and I thought yeah I have to I have to case those so she did hers and Mary Merlot and these are I'm just going to show you what they look like because this is what we're going to do with the note cards so we have a happy birthday these ones are done in Blackberry Bliss a happy birthday just a note sending a card instead of a text and thank you Okay, so simple stamping. It doesn't get any simpler than this. Oh my God, it's just, there's no embellishments, no ribbon, no nothing, uh, just some paper and stamped and that's it. So just one ink pad, one color, that's it. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. I found the this color very rich, um, almost kind of elegant. And I didn't want to do that again because I'd already I'd already done it in this color. So I couldn't decide what color to do. I actually FaceTimed with my sister and said, what do you think? <laughs> and in the end, regardless of what she said, I decided to go with Magenta Madness. So this batch is going to be really bright. This is the Magenta Madness. So it's, it's not going to be elegant. It's going to be more fun. Okay. So... Let's get started with these. I've already pre-cut all of this, so I will show you that. And I've pre-cut extras in case I make a mistake, which I've been known to do quite often. All right, so the card, oh, so you have your note card. I'm just gonna show you this. I have two stuck here. So the note card is already, um, scored and everything so you just have to fold it over use your bone folder and give it a nice crease and you're ready to go okay <clears throat> so the cardstock pieces i'm gonna put this up here are four and a half inches by three inches and like i said i've already cut them all in the interest of time and the white pieces that will be stamped on and will fit on there are 
four and a quarter by two and three quarters. So they're a quarter of an inch smaller than the cardstock. And you can do this in any color your little heart desires, okay? So let me just bring in my mat. And I will need a scrap piece of paper because I'm going to stamp off the edge of the card and I don't want to get it all over everything. Okay, so need the Magenta Madness ink. I have to make sure I'm still on camera. Any more comments? Oh, hi, Dorothy from British Columbia. How are you today? I hope your weather is better than ours. Ours, it's kind of cold here. I know you guys had a cold spell. Um, okay, so let's just start. I'm just, uh, okay, I'm going to use this one. You know what? I almost stamped on the note card. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, okay, we're going to stamp on this little white piece of paper here. So we're going to ink this up. And again, you can, you know, just do whatever you want to do. And I'm just going to stamp it here. Okay, so you can see how it's light in some places and dark in others. That's a distinctive stamp. Okay. And then I'm going to take this little guy here. We'll ink him up. And we'll put him down here. And I have all these already on the blocks. And then I'm just going to put sending a card instead of a text. And we'll just stamp that there. Oh, it made a little muffy there. Oh, well. Can't be perfect all the time. It's also crooked. So maybe we'll just try again. See, this is why I have extra time here and extra and extra things, see? Because I don't like it when I screw up. It annoys me to no end. Actually, I think I'm gonna do this first, but I'm just gonna make sure I get rid of that. And sometimes when you get this little mark here, it's because you I've rolled the um, the stamp. Okay, Dorothy says it's about six degrees and no snow. Okay, well, we've got bright sunshine here, and we're about minus 11 without the wind chill. Okay, we're like minus 18 with the wind chill. That's why I'm staying inside and crafting today. <laughs> All right, so there's. I'm just gonna let these dry for a minute because I have a tendency of picking them up and sometimes they're not dry. So I'm just gonna wait a minute. All right, so then we will do, where's my big flower? My big flower here. Yeah, burr is right, it's cold. Although it's not too bad. When the sun's shining, it's really not that bad. All right, yeah, we'll just stamp that like that. And we'll put a couple of these little guys, one up here. And then I'm gonna do the thank you. Again, simple, simple, simple stamping. I can't, I can't get my head in here, so I'm not really sure how straight these are. And I think I'll just put a little bit down here. Maybe way over the edge there. There, that's good. Okay. I know some of you probably don't like pink, but I'm kind of in a pink mood today, so that's what we're getting. <laughs> At the end, I will show you some other samples that I did while I was trying to decide what color I wanted to do. I'm gonna use this one again. You're on the island in Nanaimo. Very nice. I've never been to BC. One day I'm going to get out there. Hopefully one day. Okay. And we're going to do just a note on this one. See how easy these cards are to do? 
just a note and we'll just let nah, I don't think I want anything else on that one we'll let that one dry and we're just gonna do one more happy birthday and then I'm gonna show you oh no actually I think I'll do this one I don't mean to keep banging I am sorry you know, I'm going to tell you, I did this flower upside down. And it reminded me, and I'll show it like that. It reminded me of, some, for some reason, of fireworks, the way it just kind of all came down. And I thought, oh, that must be upside down because that looks really silly. All right, we'll just stamp that there. And eh, where's that other one here? Oh, hang on, I just got ink all over me. <sighs> okay. And we'll just put that one kind of here. Like that. Whoop. There we go. Okay. Oh, I need the sentiment. Happy birthday. Hmm, I should have put that on first because now it's probably not going to fit. That was silly. It's not. So <laughs> this is why I cut so many of these. So I'm going to stamp the happy birthday first. I'm just going to put that right in the middle. There we go. Okay, let's bring this one back. And we're just going to stamp it there and then we'll just put a little piece of this one on and we'll just put that down there like that okay and that is not quite I want to stamp the envelopes so you know what I'm just going to stamp one envelope in the interest of time here so actually, I think I'm going to use this big one. And no, you know what? I think I'm going to use this one. I'm not really sure what I want to use. So I think I'm just going to stamp a little bit here, just on the corner, just like that. So it will match the cards. Okay, so that's it for the stamping. I think, I hope. All right, get that out of the way. And I am going to, I don't need that anymore. I'm going to use my glue because that way, if it's out a little bit, I'll have a couple of minutes to move it. So I'll just use the trusty glue. Yeah, we're just gonna put that on there like that. Okay. These are, you know, when it's winter time, this is just, this just kind of makes me happy because it's nice and bright and colorful and cheery instead of everything winter blah. Winter blahs. All right, and two more to go. So, if I missed any comments here. No, oh, Jean's having a nice little chat with Dorothy. Oh, now it's got glue all over me. Okay, and one more. Happy birthday. So I am thinking these would make lovely little um, hostess gift for someone, and I did create a nice little box to put them in. Well, I didn't actually create the box. I decorated a mini paper pumpkin box. Okay. So now I have to put these on the cards. Okay. 
And then we're just going to glue. You could pop these up if you wanted with some dimensionals, but I'm just going to glue them on because I want them to be simple, simple, simple. Okay, and there's one done. And we'll put some more glue on, maybe. There we go. And number two. And like I said, with the glue, you just have that extra couple of seconds to move it if you need to. Now we'll just score that one. And we might as well do this one while we're at it. I love these little note cards. Okay. And now we'll do this one. Voila, are you straight? No, you're a little crooked. Up, 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 oh, too much. There. Okay, and last but not least, we'll do this one. Anybody have any questions so far? Are you guys all good? Okay, so there are your four bright and cheery cards. <laughs> I might be down too low. Okay, so now I will show you the box. So this is the box I deck. Okay, so this is the mini paper, the mini, the mini paper pumpkin box. Okay, so I put the box together. And I remember I did the cards in the Blackberry Bliss. So I decorated the box with the Blackberry Bliss and I did Blackberry Bliss paper and ran it, ran it through the ornate floral um, embossing folder. Okay, and then I just made this little um, belly band here and put one flower on it with lots of um, Winko Stella and a little for you, okay? So then you can just open it up and get your little cards and your envelopes. Here's your envelopes and put them in the box. Close the box up. Sometimes I find this doesn't stay closed that well, so that's the reason I did the belly band, but you don't have to. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I did that. So these are the mini paper pumpkin boxes, and these are also in the annual catalog. And I will tell you that they are on page, let me just open this. They're on page 137, and they're right here. You can see that one's all nicely decorated, too. They are uh, $10.25 for 10 boxes, again, which I thought was a pretty good deal. They are food safe, so they're shiny on one side because they're food safe, and then they're just regular on the other side, okay? You do not need any glue to put these together. You could glue them, I guess, if you wanted to make sure that they stay together, but I don't know, I've never had any fall apart on me, so um, I don't believe they're meant to be glued. You just need to fold all the little pieces over. And goes in there and it just goes over just like a regular box. Oh, my live video was interrupted. But hopefully we're back now. I look like I'm frozen. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, it was interrupted. 
I guess too many people are using the bandwidth here. Oh, Jean likes them in, in pink. Now, Jean, I really didn't think you'd like them in pink. I'm rather surprised. Okay. You can decorate this box before, I guess, if you want it, before you put it together. But I'm going to do it after I put it together. Yeah, so the sides just go in these little holes. Uh, it's pretty easy. I've already also pre-cut all of this in the interest of time. So I will just show you what I did. Where's my, I have a sticker with the sizes on it. Uh, but I had a sticker with the sizes on it. Let's put it that way. Where it went, I have no idea. It was here and now it's not. Oh, here it is. <laughs> so I'll put that over here too. So the lid, this piece that I put on the lid, and again, I ran this through the ornate flowers embossing folder. So this piece is five and three eighths by three and five eighths. Okay. So I'm just gonna glue that on. And again, like I said, I think these will make such a nice little um, gift. You can decorate these, um, you could do these cards at Christmas even, the little note cards. Uh, you could make them all thank you to thank everyone for their gifts and just, you know, um, put some Christmas stamps on there and decorate the box with some really pretty um, Christmas paper. So then I have two large ones for the front and the back and two little ones for the side. Um, so these, the sides, are going to be the three and five eighths, and these are all seven eighths of an inch wide. Okay, so we'll just glue these on quickly because I don't want to keep you guys here forever. Actually, just, oh, just a minute. I was going to do that on the inside, on the piece that's going on the inside. So before you glue it on, you want to make sure you close the box so you don't put it on the inside pieces like I almost did. Fortunately, I caught myself in time. Okay, so I'm just gonna line this up with the top piece. Like that. And then I'm gonna do this side. And we're gonna glue, maybe. Come on, glue. And we're just gonna line that one up too and kind of center it on the side of the box. Looks pretty good. And then we'll do the back. And we'll stick that on. And it needs to come down a little bit. There we go. And he needs to come up. Too much, too much. There we go. Again, reason why I like the glue. And then we'll do the front. I've been busy gluing here. If I missed any comments, don't think so. But if I did, I will catch up with them later. Okay. All right, then I took um, hmm. I took a piece of Whisper White. This is two inches, and this is one and three quarter inch, okay? I also cut just a smidge, I think it was an eighth of an inch off the edge, so that the pink would be just a little bit longer than the white, and the reason I did that was because when I did this, you can see this little strip of white Nobody's probably ever going to see it, and nobody would notice it except me, but it bothers me. So, <laughs> so I don't want to see the white. I also ran this through the uh, embossing folder. This is the Tasteful Textiles. So I ran it through one side and ran it through the other side. If you look really hard, you can kind of see where um, it's not quite as embossed as the rest of it, but I don't think anybody will notice except me. Okay, so we're gonna glue this on. I 
I think my glue is almost out. Okay. And we're just gonna hang it over the end just a little bit. I have to pick this up because I can't see. All right, it's not real straight, but it's not bad. Okay. And that will do. And I'm just gonna take my bone folder and kind of curl it a little bit because I found when I did the other one, it was really stiff and tight. Okay, now because this seems to be a little bit um, thicker here, wider because these um, tabs stick down a little bit, when I try to roll this, I put it at the end, okay? It's not going to be a real tight fit. I just kind of rolled it over just uh, like that, okay? And then I actually think I'm going to use my stamp and seal plus because I'm not sure if the um, glue will hold this. I'm going to put one on each side. Okay, and we're just going to line that up. I'm just going to hold that for a minute. And there we go, okay. So then I stamped this flower and I cut it out and in the interest of time, I've already cut it out, but I have not um, wink of Stella it. So we have to wink of Stella it. We just have to because I like, I like it when it's shiny, when it sparkles. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. Okay, that will do there. And then I took a couple of dimensionals and I'm going to pop this up. Now it doesn't fit that, it has to, okay. So it just hangs over the edge a little bit. So I don't want to put a dimensional there. And I like to use lots of dimensionals to make sure they stay. It stays on. One more little one there. And I don't have any more there. Oh, in the interest of time, I don't have any. Look at that. Okay, so you all know that when, oh, I've already cut this, when you run out of your regular dimensionals, you just cut this out and use these pieces. There. I think that will probably be enough. All right, and then we're just gonna peel them off. Anybody have any questions or anything about this? All right, so we're just gonna put that on there like so. And then I wanted a for you. The only one I could find was in the elegantly said stamp set. Okay, so that's where my for you came from. And I'm just gonna ink that up in the Magenta Madness. And I put a square one on this one, but I think I'm gonna try an oval one. This is a double oval punch. So I'm just gonna cut that out. So, oh, I should be able to go this way. There. There we 
go. And I'm going to punch this out as, or pop this up as well. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna use my pieces. there just a touch. There we go. And there you have it. Okay. Let me get rid of some of this stuff. I feel like I have a big mess here. Get rid of all these pieces. All right. So this thing, this one could have been a little bit tighter, I think. But actually, I think maybe if I kind of crease it a little bit. There we go. Again, you don't want it too tight or it won't go over. So, all right. Um, okay, so I'm just going to show you, <laughs> in case you want to do this, all the different colors that I tried. <laughs> so there's some Magenta Madness. I tried the Bermuda Bay. Oh, I'm glad you guys like this. I, this was Melon Mambo. This one was Calypso Coral. This one was Flirty Flamingo. Misty Moonlight. Fresh Freesia. Blackberry Bliss. And the Polish Pink. So, <laughs> as you can see, I had an awful time trying to decide uh, what color I wanted <laughs> to do this in. All right, so again, pull this off, open it up, and then you can just put your cards in. Okay, I'm not gonna put them in because I wanted to show them off one more time. And again, simple stamping, one ink color, and the note cards, that's all you need. And the paper. Some extra white paper and some extra DSP. Whoops, not DSP cardstock. Okay, let me see if I can find a spot to put all of these. I'll leave the box there. And the box there. Okay. Now you, what Jean say? Now you can make a set of four. Yeah. Oh, Rose, Rose like the Bermuda Bay. Mm, okay. I couldn't decide. Oh, well, you can tell. I could not make up my mind. I actually phoned my sister and said, help me. I can't make a decision. So after she stopped laughing at me, um, she actually picked the polished pink, but I went with the magenta madness. <laughs> this was the polished pink. Okay, but I just like the Magenta Madness. Um, a, because one of the reasons is because I have a whole bunch of, of uh, cardstock and it's going to be retiring in another three months. So I, I kind of wanted to use it up. And the other reason was I just found it a little bit deeper. So I thought that would be kind of nice. Anyways, anyways, so those are my four little note cards and my decorated paper pumpkin box. And thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, you could make them in four different colors, um, but I just thought they were nicer, just, you know, all the same color. But that's another option you could do is make them different colors and make a little box and put them in. Also, again, like I said, this one I didn't um, emboss at all. I don't know whether I like it better or I liked it or I like it um, the, the belly band embossed. Or it might just be the color. This color is much richer, so it might be the color. I don't know. Anyways, anyways, uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. You guys have a great week, and hopefully I will see you back here next Wednesday. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later.